How are you everyone? So today what we're going to do, as you can see up the top right there, we have a watercolour style that we're trying to replicate. And we're going to try and use um, just the, I've used a celebrity image here, but you can take a photo of yourself or a family member to trace and replicate in a style um, using watercolour brushes and Adobe Fresco. Um, so that's what we're after and you can see here on the right hand side. I've layered the images and I've put also two um, uh, Drawing layers above it and here I am actually decreasing the opacity um, Of the trace layer um, as you can see there and um, Just whipping through the trace there and you can see I'm doing that on the top layer that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Um, so uh, now we have the trace layer all sorted. Uh, what I've gone and done is just seen what it looked like, looks like without um, the image underneath, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, you can see I haven't outlined the whole image yet because I want to add the color first. Um, so what I'm doing here is I've selected the second layer down, just underneath the outline layer, and I'm going to use um, a lot like last week the swatches menu to um, eye drop the style image we're trying to replicate on the right hand side um, and create a series of swatches um, based on that style. So we're just stealing them from the image that I've taken from the Sachi um, uh, website. can see here just collecting a, a range of um, different colors creating a palette and what we're about to do is um, Instead of using the brush right at the top of the menu on the left, we're going to use the second one down the live brushes. And instead of oil painting like we did last week, we're going to use um, the watercolor range. And you can see here we've got a splatter, a flat brush, a soft brush, and a detail watercolour brush up the top. So we'll just use a range of those. Um, and we'll also play with the size of the brush, um, which is on the left there. Uh, and also the flow, um, as in the amount of um, ink that's in the water, that of the watercolour. So they're basically the two variables we're playing around with.
background here as well, I've done it on a third layer. And now what I've actually done is gone up the top layer, the outline layer, and just going over again some key detail now that the colour's down. So adding a second layer of outline. There you go, and it's as easy as that. Enjoy, it's Adobe Fresco using an image trace.